Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Unboxing, where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker, and sometimes even jewelry purchases on the channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing the Palace Skateboards Dry Crusher Hoodie in the White Colorway that released in Week 7 of Palace's Autumn 2020 Collection. It's finally here, guys! Yes! <laughs> It actually arrived yesterday, but I was at work, came home at 9 p.m. And then I was like, I am definitely not recording an unboxing video at 9 p.m. Or like later, it would have been like 10 p.m. Because I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna be like, hey, this is a tri crusher hoodie. <laughs> I needed to save it until today, till the next day when I've got some energy. And now let's do it. Let's get into this and unbox this piece. So this piece was uh, the highlight of week seven, the final week of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. Uh, I managed to pick it up in an extra large in the white colorway. I thought that was my favorite colorway. A mate of mine accidentally picked the wrong colorway. He wanted the white one as well, but uh, it's okay. He got the gray and yellow one and he got it on Friday way before I got it. So you know what? It's only fair that I got the color and size that I wanted a little bit later. <laughs> So yeah, no, this is going to be sick. Uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's unbox the Tri Crusher hoodie in the white colorway and see how this bad boy looks. So surprisingly, this is actually my first Palace hoodie as well. I have a Palace crewneck sweater. I have a crazy all print Sherpa jacket by Palace. But when it comes to hoodies, none of them. <laughs> so this is my first one. Um, it's an extra large, which is going to fit more like an American large. So it's going to be more like a Supreme large, but a little bit bigger. So, um, we'll have to see how it fits. Let's get it out of this small USPS bag here. And, oh, almost lost the sticker there. So, just like, oh, oh, double sticker. Palace coming through. <laughs> so, just like the Sherpa jacket, um, I got a white sticker with that, but un unlike the Sherpa jacket that I unboxed, I got two of them. So thank you, Palace, for coming through and giving me two stickers. I'll have to chuck them under a board or something and leave it at that. So there we go. Fry Crusher hoodie in the white, extra large because I'm an extra large fella. This graphic is just an insane graphic. One that we'll definitely be talking about seasons to come uh, from now. So I'll just check the bag to see if there's anything else left in it. Doesn't look like there is, so I'll chuck that over there. <sighs> Here it is. Here it is. You can't really see it, to be fair. You can't, like, it's like, where, where is it? Where's the graphic? We'll get into that. So let's open this bag and get this bad boy out and see what it looks like so oh my god already noticed as soon as i touched it super thick i'd be interested to find out what uh gsm uh palace actually uses because i know champion reverse weaves is around 340 uh kith is 450 del schutzer is 550 but this feels mad mad thick you know mad mad thick but um, let's 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 get it unboxed. Let's get it unboxed. So, on the front, oh my god, I can see the graphic. It's absolutely crazy. It's actually a different color to what I thought it would actually look like. But so on the front, just a simple little skull graphic. You know, just that small little triferg with the skull head on it. But then when you unbox it and swap it around, <laughs> you get hit with that that huge ass. Dryberg with the skull getting cracked open. Oh, what a graphic. What an absolute piece there. I love the art style that's done on it. I love that the Triferg has like this like comic book art style and then the skull has like a VHS tape kind of like a uh, filter to it. It's just, it's really well done. Uh, interestingly though, on the actual store page, it did not showcase that. Oh my god, okay, never mind. The lighting is like totally cooked itself. Let's let's fix that lighting real quick. So on the palace um, store page, it did not showcase it as like a pink. And I think that's one of the issues that I have with Palace's store page, is that the items aren't well represented and they look kind of different in hand. And this is definitely one of the scenarios where 
on the actual uh, palace store page, this looked more like a dark gray and it still kind of does on the camera, but it's actually more of like a soft pink uh, when I actually get around to unboxing it. So just to forewarn you guys, don't get fooled by the photos. The actual palace Trifurg logo is more of a soft pink, which I can't really showcase too well, but you can kind of get the idea. It's not a gray, it's a soft pinky purpley kind of color there but that's it unboxed uh what do we have on the actual inside of the hoodie just just a palace yeah just palace extra large there nothing too crazy uh let's chuck it on and see how it actually fits on on me see what it, how it fits on a 6'5 110 kilo guy let's see how it looks let's get into it okay i actually had to turn down my lighting a little bit here just so you guys could see so we still have some width we still have quite a bit of room. Uh, it is actually quite a wide piece. I thought it was going to be a lot thinner, but it's definitely wider than a Supreme Large. It's actually very much more like an extra large. Uh, the drawstrings, super, super long though. Like, I don't know if you guys can really see that too well. They come down to like, like that far off the actual kangaroo pouch there. So they're actually quite long drawstrings. Uh, the graphic on the front all the way it's not actually over the chest it's actually above the left breast more it's actually closer to the shoulder than you actually think it is uh turning around i haven't seen what the graphic looks like on the back oh damn look at that jeez what a graphic <laughs> this easily one of the highlights of 2020 and definitely one of the highlights of palace's seasons this year this is just Dope piece. This is just absolutely awesome. I'm super keen to actually wear this like outside in the world. And Palace, what I like about Palace hoodies, and this actually might be, might be beneficial for you, they don't have a uh, cotton fleece in them like a uh, Champion rever Reverse Weave does. So if you are, if you have sensitive skin, if you don't like cotton fleece because it just gets all over your t-shirts and stuff like that. Palace crewnecks and Palace hoodies, at least the ones that are releasing in 2020, are really, really good because they have no cotton fleece in them. Yes, it doesn't keep you as warm, but I feel like it's an overall positive because one, you can wear it in warmer weather and it still won't overheat you because it doesn't have the fleece inside of it. And two, if you've got, as I said, sensitive skin, it can actually work really well for you because then you don't have the fleece irritating your skin. But yeah it's super it's super dense this is like a real i can feel the gsm in this hoodie this is a dense hoodie i love the fit of it you know we got all this room so you know if i gained a few covid kilos i'd still be able to wear it but definitely for a 6.5 guy 110 kilos you want an extra large you definitely want an extra extra large i would say like anyone above like 6.2 definitely go an extra large but that is the graphic showcase to you guys. That's what it looks like. I'm in love with it. I think it's sick. Uh, in regards to the hood size, I mean, I'll showcase that to you guys now. I have quite a big head. I'm like a, I think it's a size eight fitted cap um, with uh, Mitchell and Ness. So that's like 63 centimeters around. And the hoodie, apes a root. Although it looks really weird because it's like all crinkled and stuff. It kind of looks more like a, yeah, I don't know. I look kind of like the Grim Reaper actually. <laughs> but keeps a room. It, like I can, I could fit some headphones in here. It could easily work out quite well. Yeah, heaps and heaps of room. The only thing that I'm kind of thrown off by is the drawstrings. I think I'm definitely going to have to just like tie them up. Like just simple little loop kind of thing and make it like... Yeah, like that kind of, because look at that. That is super, super long, super long drawstrings. But apart from that, I am super happy with this. The graphic looks awesome. I, like a little bit bummed out that the actual Triferg logo is like a light pink. I was kind of hoping it would be a gray, but I'm just super happy that I was able to pick up an extra large in, in any color. So you know what? That's a cop. Uh, what are your thoughts, guys? How do you feel about the hoodie? Do you like the Tri Crusher hoodie? Is it for you? Is the graphic like something you would wear or is it just, I don't know, gothic or something like that? Let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the Tri Crusher hoodie down in that comment section below. And there it is, guys. There it is. The Tri Crusher hoodie uh, released in autumn 2020. 
of week seven of Palace's collection there. It's just, it's a sick piece. I love the graphic. It's actually really a really good print quality as well. It feels like it's part of the piece. Like it isn't raised. It doesn't feel like it's just gonna come off. It is an awesome, awesome piece. I, it's kind of crazy with how white this one is. I wasn't expecting it to be so white. I was expecting, you know, maybe some like eyelets up here to give, break it up a little bit, but it is a white ass hoodie. I'm gonna be so afraid I'm gonna spill something on this, but the graphic is sick. Uh, everything about the hoodie is exactly how I'd want it. It feels thick. It do isn't overly fleecy. It has a big hood. It has heaps of room. It's really, really good. I'm actually really, really happy with an extra large in Palace's hoodies. I would say their hoodies are bigger than their crew necks. Their crew necks are a little bit smaller. So just be ready for that. Their jackets are probably around the same size as the hoodie. So just be prepared for that. Cause I've now got a crew neck. I've now got a hoodie. I've now got a jacket from Palace, and yeah, I would say the crew necks run a little bit small. They would, they, I would still go true to size, but just to let you guys know, now, now that I have a hoodie, I can definitely say that with confidence that the uh, hoodies and jackets are true to size. The crew necks are a little bit smaller, still true to size. I would almost maybe go up a size if you want a more oversized fit on the crew necks, but yeah, super happy with this piece, guys. I, I wanna hear from you guys on how you feel about it. Were you able to pick up a Palace hoodie uh, or a Palace Tri Crusher hoodie from their Autumn collection recently? Or did you miss out on every single hoodie that you wanted and also the Tri Crusher hoodie? That would be pretty grim. <laughs> if someone said that, I'd be like, damn, dude, that's rough. That's rough, buddy. But yeah, no, um, an awesome piece. My favorite hoodie from the season. I did a top five video of my top five favorite pieces from Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can. But that's all I really got to say about it, guys. Pretty damn steezy peaks. Now, of course, if you guys want me to keep doing unboxing videos, more Palace videos, more drop list videos for Palace's upcoming season, their upcoming winter season, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,650 subscribers before the end of September. I know we don't have long, but we're less than five subscribers away. So, you know, if you tell a couple mates and they tell a couple mates, I think we can hit 2,650 subscribers before the end of September. But that's all I've really got to say about the Palace Tri Crusher hoodie, guys. So until the next unboxing video, until the next Palace video, until the next drop list video, guys, I'll catch you later.